Welcome to the Dalton State Simulation Center. In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to access EHR Tutor for your simulation. Not all classes will have EHR Tutor access. We are segueing from EHR Tutor's sim chart. <clears throat> but for the purpose of this video, I will walk you through how to get to the content. So the first thing that we want to do is log in to EHR Tutor. Okay, to access EHR Tutor, you're going to go to ehrtutor.com. Sign in with your username, password. And then what you're going to see is my page. For simulation, currently the course enrollment key is this key right down here, 447HZ7K. That may change depending on the semester you're in, but we are we are phasing out EHR Tutor and introducing the SIM chart into Dalton State College Health Profession, so this should be the only enrollment key you would need for this time. This is basically the last semester I believe the EHR Tutor will be used for simulation. And this is my screen. You won't necessarily see this as a student. Okay, so here's your student view. This should be what you would see when you log into your uh, EHR Tutor. We're in Simulation Center is where we want to be. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to go through the Dementia Simulation Patient. So I'm going to click on that. And my patient is Robert Klein. And just ignore this copy part. I forgot to take that part off. But basically, at this top part right portion right here will be on every single page, no matter where you click in the chart. So you'll see the patient's name, what they are, their date of birth, how old they are. For the purposes of simulation, sometimes the chart will not have a date of birth because if it's a live actor or actresses, sometimes we'll just let them use their own date of birth. It makes it easier for them to spout off something. When you're looking at confirming the patient, for the purposes of simulation, you will know their name and their medical record number are the two uh, numbers that you're really going to look at. This will also give you the patient's doctor, their allergies, code status, and comments. So all of this section will be at the top every single time. So initially the charting is going to take you to the patient summary. This will give you information about their vital signs, if there's any inner allergies, orders that have been entered on the patient, lab work. Anytime you come into simulation and you have lab values you're going to look at, always go to the patient summary because it will give you the normal lab values. Whereas if you go to results and try and look at labs, I don't think I'll see it here, but in the lab result portion, it doesn't give you the normals for whatever reason in the software. I think it's just one of those bugs. We can take away the copy. So now it has updated our patient name and what they are, and that's the only thing we changed in there. Results, this patient doesn't have any lab work, doesn't really have any diagnostic testing. The provider, you can click on that and this is where you would see if there's anything entered as far as chief complaint, history, and you can also make changes in these areas. So in the history, if you wanted to add anything new, you would go to new entry. It would open up the section for you. You can make changes should you need to and save it. We're not going to make any changes at this time. You can review their sim systems, such as the eyes, ears, nose, throat. You can add things, take away things, whatever you need to do. Allergies, home medicines. This is where we add allergies or make changes to the patient's home medication list. In the notes section, click on that and you'll see note time, type of note, professional role, who it's created by. You can edit the note or you can just open the note and it will tell you what that professional charted. You can also make a new note should you want to. 
flow sheets, you have admission, vital signs. You're probably going to want to chart vital signs, so know where this is. New entry, you'll need that, and then enter your vital signs, save your vital signs. Assessment is where you could make changes to anything that you're assessing on the patient, should you need to. Other screen scales, you can do daily care. So you could chart their safety environment, mobility, nutrition, if you need to make any changes to that. Again, you would new entry, and then you would save it at the end. Intake output, if they have Lines, drains, wounds, behavioral health, screenings, this patient currently doesn't have any of this information. Because this is a fundamentals patient, we don't have a lot of information outside of the information you need to complete this simulation to make it a little bit more simplistic for you since this is your first simulation or first set of simulations. So your MAR. This is where you're going to find your medications. This is where you will be able to give medicines. So our patients in EHR or tutor were able to scan the patient's barcode and their medication barcodes. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to show you how you would document without a barcode scanner. So you would click in that little box or whatever time you're clicking in, and then you would document why you're not scanning. Submit that. Then it takes you to medication details. This is where you will document if you're given the medicine, holding, refusing, not given, date, time, the dose, and then whatever additional dose, rate, if it's a rate, and then any comments, and then you can update chart. This patient only has three medicines. Then your orders. This is where your provider has entered all the orders. And again, these orders can be seen in the patient summary as well. So this is where you could enter a new order. So let's say if your provider you have called and they want you to add something to the patient, you would enter a new order, you would search for it, choose the milligram dosage, what type of order, the doctor, you know, would enter dose, rate, root, frequency, how long, schedule, and then you would sign the order. We're not going to sign this one though. And so that's MAR order. You have an, uh, yeah, we're going to leave. We're not going to save it. Patient education, SBAR. This patient does not have an SBAR currently in the chart, but if you wanted to document SBAR, you do have that ability right here. So this is where you could document your SBAR as opposed to writing it on the dry erase board in the room or as opposed to document it on a piece of paper. So if you document it in this SBAR here, you would have it as your record in your notes. Care plan, discharge, and then you have barcodes. Barcodes is where we print out the patient's barcode, their allergies, what the medicines they have. And these are what you will see when you're looking at the medicines in the simulation. You'll see a medicine with a barcode, what the medicine is, how it's dispensed as, and the milligrams or the dosage of the medication. 
And that is basically it in a nutshell for EHR Tutor. Each of your patients will have a different, uh, or each scenario that you come into the simulation room will have, whenever you come into simulation, according to what course you are in, will determine which patient you are looking at. So we will try to ensure that your course is connected to a particular patient or if you know that you're coming into a simulation for dementia that dementia simulation will be connected to a specific patient so you won't have to try and figure out which patient it is you'll be able to open up the um, course go into it and find the specific patient for your specific course if you should have any questions you can always contact the simulation center at 706 272-4499. I can also be reached by my email swindom at daltonstate.edu and we look forward to having you in simulation. Have a great simulation time. See ya.